the 2018 Audi S6 is a car that pampers as well as it performs. On the inside, this mid-size luxury sports sedan boasts a richly trimmed cabin fitted with front seats that can keep you perfectly comfortable for hours at a time. Or hit the gas and the S6 S450 horsepower turbocharged V8 will rocket this Audi to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds flat. If it's sophisticated entertainment and technology you're after, the S6 S got you covered, too. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration lets you make the most of the S6 S large and clear multimedia interface and a bevy of optional features are available to crank up the luxury quotient ever further. Although the S6S handling abilities are a little underwhelming, the overall luxury sport sedan package is pretty compelling. What's new? The 2018 Audi S6 is unchanged. Our choice would be the S6 in premium plus trim with the sport package, which adds a dynamic steering map, sport differential red brake calipers and black tipped sport exhaust if we had some extra dollars we'd also opt for the Aris red valkana leather even if it's technically the base model the premium plus has all the features you really need trim levels and features the 2018 audi s6 is offered in two trims premium plus and prestige both share the same powertrain body and interior and differ mainly in the details Standard exterior features for the Premium Plus trim include 20-inch wheels with summer tires, specific styling elements, Xenon headlights, LED running lights and taillights, a sports-tuned adaptive air suspension, a sunroof, auto-dimming and power-folding side mirrors, front and rear parking sensors, a blind spot warning system, and keyless ignition and entry. Inside, you'll find diamond-stitched leather upholstery. Selectable drive modes, 8-way power adjustable front sport seats with 4-way driver power lumber and heating, a power adjustable steering wheel, driver seat memory settings, Ford Zone automatic climate control, an auto-dimming rear view mirror and 60-40 split folding rear seat backs. Electronics highlights start with the MMI infotainment system, which includes a console-mounted control knob with a touchpad that can read your fingertip scribbles a central 8-inch display, a navigation system with Google Earth Maps, voice controls and Audi Connect including enhanced web-based information services, 4G LTE data connectivity and mobile Wi-Fi capability. Also standard are a rear-view camera, Bluetooth and a 14-speaker Bose surround sound audio system. The Prestige trim adds LED headlights, a power trunk lid, a head-up display, LED interior lighting and rear sunshades manual for the side windows, power for the rear window. From this point, most S6 additional features are organized into optional packages. The driver assistance package adds adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning and intervention, a top-down parking camera system, a forward collision mitigation system with automatic braking, and automatic high beams. The comfort seating package features upgraded front seats with ventilation and massage functions, front passenger memory settings, and upgraded leather upholstery sans diamond stitching. The S6 Sport package provides dynamic steering, a torque vectoring rear differential and a sport exhaust. The cold weather package adds heated rear seats and a heated steering wheel. The black optic package tacks on exclusive 20-inch wheels. Body color exterior mirrors instead of the standard silver ones and gloss black exterior trim. Notable standalone options include different 20 inch wheels, rear side airbags, and, for the prestige only, a night vision system and a 15 speaker Bang and Olufsen sound system. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our full test of the 2016 Audi S6 Premium Plus Quattro Turbo 4.0 liters V8, 7-speed dual-clutch automatic, AWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the current S6 has received only minor revisions. Our findings remain broadly applicable to this year's model. 0. Driving. This is a car that's more about refinement and daily driving than driving engagement. Rapid and undramatic acceleration, but thrust steering and handling qualities when you get even modestly enthusiastic with it. 
very smooth transmission. Great engine, mediocre chassis and tires. Acceleration. There is ample power available from the twin turbo V8. Fast, undramatic power delivery. Matt the gas and the sprint to 60 miles per hour comes in an incredibly quick 4 seconds. Shifts from the 7 speed, dual clutch automatic are very smooth. Braking. Soft at initial jump in during routine driving, which makes this car feel more unwieldy than it actually is. Noisy brakes on our test car. The car moves around during panic braking more than expected. Our measured 60 tozer off stop in 113 feet is about average for the class. Steering. Steering is very quick around center. At low speeds, it is very light, too quick and feels very synthetic. At moderate speeds, the steering still feels non-linear after turning and requires more input to achieve an equal amount of turning. Handling. Not an impressive handling car even in moderately hard driving. The sport differential requires use of the throttle to counter this behavior, demanding a clunky driving style. Front end grip relents easily. The tires howl at low cornering forces. Drivability. Very easy to live with in routine driving situations. The engine stop start function could be better, restarts take a beat before thrust can be delivered. Very nicely rev matched downshifts. Comfort. From its highly effective sound isolation and outstanding ride comfort, the S6 works the luxury angle much more convincingly than its sport leanings. Its seats are very accommodating, too. This is a car that's ideally suited for long drives. Seat comfort. The front seats strike a keen balance between comfort and support, and they provide ample adjustments. No pressure points were observed after long drives either. The back seats are more upright but compliant and comfortable. Ride comfort. Comfortable and absorptive ride quality. Its ability to dispatch speed bumps in particular is, frankly, stunning. Noise and vibration. Very quiet and refined. Speed accumulates deceptively rapidly. Isolation from wind rush and road thumps is excellent. Engine noise is muted in all circumstances, even in hard driving. Climate control. The standard Ford Zone climate control system is easy to operate. It's also highly adjustable, so you can get just what you want for the airflow and temperature. Interior. The beautifully trimmed cabin has ample space for passengers. It's also easy to get in and out. There's enough adjustment that just about any driver should feel perfectly in control. Ease of use. Controls fall into reach easily and intuitively. It has knobs for temperature adjustment, buttons for fan speed. The multimedia system works well in Stowe's in dash, which is a nice touch. The flat bottom steering wheel looks neat but can feel odd in your hands. Getting and jetting out. The S6 is easy to get in and out of. It has a long enough wheelbase that rear access is unimpeded, more so than with its similarly priced competition. Doors open wide. Driving position. With the driver seat offering 12-way adjustment and 4-way lumbar adjustment, and a power steering wheel adjustments, finding a comfortable driving position is straightforward. Roominess. Good headroom in the front, even for 6-footers. The back seat is especially roomy with plenty of headroom, good shoulder room and knee clearance. Visibility. Good view forward and out the side glass. The view over the shoulder or out the back is more challenging, but it's no better or worse than in the competition. The backup camera is effective. Quality. Premium materials abound, including simulated suede, stitched leather, carbon fiber, diamond patterned seats and brushed aluminum. Fit and finish is excellent. A finely executed sense of luxury that's cool and restrained. Utility. With a large trunk. Ample small item storage and, of course, large rear seat room, the S6 begs to be loaded up and taken on a long road trip. Small item storage. The cabin has a good amount of storage, with a toady rod bin in the center console, a shallow bin in front of the shifter and of rage sized door pockets. Cargo space. The trunk has a low lift over height, soft opening and concealed hinges. The trunk is very deep but of average width and height. If you want a power trunk lid, you'll have to get the prestige trim. Child safety seat accommodation. 
There are three upper latch points on the parcel shelf and four lower latch anchors. Access to all anchors is clear and easy. The ample rear door size means installation of the seat, and your child, is not murderous on your back. The front seats do not have to move for most applications. Technology. Audis MMI infotainment system is excellent. We like the crisp graphics and simple menus as well as easy to learn controls. You'll be hard pressed to find a more user friendly interface or such a high quality stereo. Audio and navigation. The quiet interior of the S6 offers a good sound stage for the Bose sound system. Navigation is a simple, guided structure of commands that eventually leads you to a crisp, easy to understand map with instructions doubled inside the instrument panel. Smartphone integration. Bluetooth connects easily, and Audis Connect system is easy to learn. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, but Audis systems are so logically designed that we use them most of the time instead. It's one of the best systems in the class. Driver aids. Standard equipment includes a rear camera, parking sensors, forward collision warning and automatic braking. Optional features include a crisp surround view system, lane departure intervention and adaptive cruise. The S6S aids work well without intrusive interference during daily driving. Voice control. Voice controls take clear, well enunciated commands, but they don't like much outside their parameters. Learning or reading the commands you need to know is relatively easy, though, and the learning curve for new owners should be very gradual, especially buyers coming from other German makes.